Mike Sandoz annual QB tears article that he does every year right before the season is a great read, a uh, great list. He talks to 50 people around the league, scouts, talent evaluators, executives, coaches, etc. And uh, they rank the top quarterbacks in the league. And we talked earlier about uh, CJ Stroud, who was ranked number eight. And you had a problem with him being in that second tier. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dak Prescott, I'm sorry, Brock Purdy is ranked 12th. He's also tier two, moved up from tier four. Obviously, you understand why he was tier four going into this past season. But now he's tier two, number 12. And Tua, who just signed the big deal with the Miami Dolphins, is in. he's the first quarterback in tier three. And that is uh, – He's ranked 15th in the league. One spot, uh, which is interesting, ahead of Trevor Lawrence, who's at 16. And you, I, it sounds like you think Tua should be in the second tier. And also, I'm guessing you think he should be ahead of Brock Purdy. Share your thoughts. Uh, not so much Brock Purdy. I'm. I, this isn't more with Brock Purdy. This is more about C.J. Stroud. Purdy, I told you, I'm off the, I'm off the train, off the bandwagon of, of banging on Brock Purdy. Every quarterback needs weapons, and of course, the first thing was, well, he, he's got Except Mahomes. Ex ex that's why ex right, ex exactly. <laughs> Mahomes is the one guy. Well, he right. still has the game's best tight end. Let's just make sure we keep right, that clear. That's true. He still has that's the game's true. best tight end, and he's got the game's best head coach and the game's best home field advantage. He's got some. He's got some stuff that helps and him out too. They do have a running game. Too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we're, we're yes, there. I was about to say, and a great defense, probably the best best defense of uh, interior lineman in the league, and Chris Jones. So he's got plenty of help. He doesn't do it by himself, but he's still just so magical. He's still he's still just so dope that you right. the game's never over. You don't leave the couch. You don't go get more chips. This guy's gonna end this thing, and you're gonna miss the end of it. But so, but everybody's got to have weapons, and it just feels like that only certain quarterbacks are allowed to have. And when other quarterbacks have it, then it's the weapons and not the quarterback. And just on Tua real fast, and I don't because this has been the talk for the last two years. But yeah, I believe tier two, number one in yards last year, number two in completion percentage by point two completion percentage points behind Dak Prescott, almost seventy percent, fifth in QB, tenth in the QB rating. Like I, I'm just trying to figure out what does he have to do to be considered better than a guy who now you want to talk about teams beating teams or guys beating guys? Do you know who C.J. Stroud was beating up on last year? Okay, they beat they beat Carolina, Atlanta, and the 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 Jets they lost to, where he had a robust six points. Okay, and went ten of twenty three in that game. There was Buffalo also another game, and, Pitt and uh, Philly lost to the Jets. Oh, hold, hold up, we're not talking about them teams though. We're just high. talking about the Houston Texans right now. They also lost to the Carolina Panthers and Bryce Young, where he put up another robust thirteen points. This idea, I know on paper, you can look at numbers and go, oh, man, greatest quarterback uh, season in history. But when you put the tape on, there's still plenty of deficiencies. The tape? You don't like the tape of C.J. Stroud? I didn't say I didn't like the tape. Hold on, let me, I, let well, me you said if you put it on, you see deficiencies. Absolutely. That's, that's, absolutely. That. that doesn't mean that I don't like them, but I still see deficiencies. I still see deficiencies in Oos, and two is my guy. But I still see some things that he needs to improve on. That's just being a real fan, not being an no, irrational ain't no, fan. This ain't about, of course, everybody can improve exactly it's not about that but it's he's about not a tier two quarterback and he, he's not better he than be, Tua. he he is better than no, Tua's he's had one first of all Tua, Tua's first had good. you can stay healthy all right he showed it one year out of four times okay all right so i need to see more about you that's why i was like and there are certain times and we talked about it with the cowboys a lot of times you should pay the guy earlier because the price is only going to oh, go Real up. quick, though, Chris, let's make sure we also remember to tell those stories. C.J. Stroud missed two games last year for two concussion. Two games. That's not like— It, it doesn't matter. It's still games. Two has been through. It's still two you games, can't though. So I get it, but you can't compare right now C.J. Stroud's injury history to Tua. That's not what I'm doing. Tua, what I'm saying I'm, is just on, make sure we put it to the story. Tua went, I'm telling you the story. C.J. Stroud was not an injury problem yesterday. He was ready for the playoffs. He played the 15 out of 17 games. Yep. So it was injuries were not were not an issue with him. They were an issue. They've been an issue with Tua for 70 percent of his career. So I want to see him have one other full healthy season before I go ahead and anoint him. Secondly, be some good teams. 
Dude is one in six, and it's not just that he don't win against good teams. His numbers plummet. His passer rating plummets. His touchdown to interception radio ratio plummets. He doesn't play well against these good teams. Who he was one te- in six last. Hold on. He was one in six last year against playoff teams. And then on top of that, he doesn't get it done in cold weather. And I ain't even talking about freezing. I'm talking about 45 degrees and below. He's 0 6 in his career. Okay. All right. So now. these are all the issues I have. And he he's very good on schedule. And this is why I like Brock Purdy better than him. Purdy can make better, is better off schedule. Purdy obviously on schedule too, much like Tua, but is better off schedule. He can scramble more. He can run better. He can make plays out of the pocket better in my view. So I just think, look, I, I'm not, I, I don't want to necessarily kill Tua. You sure? But I don't think he, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I'm not sold yet. And I would not have paid him this year. And I would have gladly paid him more next year if he mm. stays healthy this season and plays really well. No, I agree. I agree with the paying them this year. P- pay, pay them this year before it gets too expensive next year. They oh, need it, it, would they... be, it would be more, and I get it, yeah. but I would be willing to do because I'm not – if I'm not sure the guy – I will wait and pay more once he proves but himself. But they, they are. I don't think he's proven himself. Mike McDaniel and the front office are sure on him. We don't have to be that sure. It doesn't mean, matter if I'm sure. It doesn't nothing. matter if you're sure on him. It does mean something because they're the guys that I mean, cut the check and run the team. Paid, but it doesn't mean he's a great quarterback. No, but you said you said showing them like believe in him, like sold on him. They're sold on him. That's why they went ahead and paid him. If they weren't sold on him, Chris, they'd have let him play on this last year deal and let him become a free no, agent they, and then work they can and then be work sold it, on him all they want. And working from I there. I mean, there are a lot of teams sold on on mediocre quarterbacks or quarterbacks that they think are better than he is. And look, I'll be fine if two are of those out there Are you calling him a mediocre proved, quarterback? I'll be fine. It's He's better than mediocre. Okay. I wasn't just saying him. But I if I would be fine if he goes out there and proves me wrong. But you address what I said. Beating good teams, winning in cold weather, and doing something off schedule. What? So the team, okay, no problem. All right, so let me talk. The teams, I'll tell you, to Baltimore twice. I'm excuse me, Baltimore, Philly, Kansas City twice, and Buffalo twice. So you're talking Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, and and uh, no, I'm and, talking and, those hold, teams. Hold up, no, no, but you're talking the teams, but you're using the quarterback. No, I, well, so, well, what are we let, trying Chris, to do? Let me, Just Chris, be, let me finish. Pretty good. Let, no, no, no let hold, me on, hold on, hold on, no, hold you on. Bring a, we having a discussion. All right, now listen. What you bring up those teams like? Well, you're not expected to beat them. Buffalo's you're, in their freaking you're, division. You're, you're, you but you're, but you're saying them. you don't believe in him and sold on him, but you want him to go beat Pat Mahomes twice in one year. No, That's what I'm you're saying, saying. I want no. What I'm saying, he hasn't played well against good teams. And you, you saying, well, you, you kind of saying it like, well, how's he supposed to beat Buffalo? How's he supposed to beat Baltimore? No, no, no. That's, well, no. well, where are they going then? Ten and seven every year and out in the first round? Well, no, they were eleven and six last year. Number one, they they choked the season away. And when you lose your when your offensive line How'd gets they decimated, choke the season away. I, I, I'm, t- I'm a fan. I tell you, they choked the season away when they when your offensive line gets decimated like that. You lose three starters late in the year, and you lose both your rush ends. They're signing guys off the street late in the year to come in and rush the quarterback. No one's going to be successful late in the year when you're doing that. The cold stuff, I give you. I've been a Dolphin fan my whole life. I just told I've been you hearing I'll it. See Jay Stroud I've been, had I've been, injuries all year. I've been hearing it my line. I've been hearing it my whole life about the, the weather. I, I can't defend the weather. They're gonna have to change that narrative themselves. But when we talk about Tua, like I said, it's funny how it becomes Tua can't do this, Tua can't do that when we're talking a team sport. And the reason why I named these teams that you say in their lawsuit, you're talking upper echelon teams that a lot of teams in the NFL and a lot of quarterbacks can't beat. Once again, Josh Allen is in tier one with Mahomes by this list. I don't agree with it, but by this list, you're asking Tua to play two of the top three quarterbacks Twice, four games, and he's supposed to beat him by himself. That's not well, how this is going. What's the goal, VJ? That's not, the goal not is by the, himself. The, well, that's how you got Tyreek Hill. He got Jalen Waddle. He got all exactly. The great so run it's game. Your, your answer. What there you, you mean go. By no, no, there you go. You answer my question right there. It's a team game. Why is it when it comes to two? Is he can't do this? He can't do that. He's just, the quarterback. Chris, Chris, Chris I you just know said, how it works. Chris, I just gave you. Don't do this, Chris. I just gave you the teams and names that CJ Stroud couldn't beat. You making excuses for him. He CJ lost to the Stroud Jets. He lost to the rook- Jets and scored 10 points. They went, he went 10 to 23. That's not a good day, Chris. Okay, so he had a bad game. 
How he's many had bad a few, games he's, did Tua have? He's had a few bad games. That wasn't the only bad game. Chris, he threw 440 yards and went 16 to 24 and put up 13 points against the worst team in the league in the Panthers. So that's what I'm CJ, saying. It's not CJ Stroud Come on, does TV. not have Ty. Hold on. Does not have Tyreek Hill. Does not have Jalen Waddle. Does not have Mike McDaniel calling plays for him. Did not have that run. They had one of the worst run games in the league. And Tua had one of the best. Yeah, you can't the, even I fix your mouth to compare <laughs> CJ <laughs> Stroud to Tua. Oh, please. Uh, no. and, and Tua, nah. and, and then CJ nah. beat, went to the playoffs and crushed a Cleveland team. And, and beat Joe, be Joe Flacco. And beat Joe Flacco. Went, well, hey, went Joe to a playoff Flacco game at home. Cleveland Road. Went, went to a, and went, it wasn't went to a you, playoff no, game no, at home beat, and beat Joe Flacco. He beat, Great job. The, he beat the Cleveland Browns. He didn't oh, beat Joe Flacco. Oh, he beat okay. the Cleveland Browns. Oh. And you want to sit up here and make excuses for Tua. Not and excuses, act like he's just playing, telling the facts. You want to act like he playing one-on-one against Lamar, one-on-one against Mahomes, one-on-one against Josh Allen. No, like you said, it's a team sport. Beat that defense. And he hasn't shown that he can do it. He going to show it this year. He gonna show it. He gonna show it. He gonna show it. I hope he does. We gonna re. We gonna revisit this one. He is C J Stroud is not better than Tua Tagovailoa. Y'all need to stop that. And I just gave. And I just gave the metrics that we talking about. Who they played. Who they played against. I'm giving you teams. (laughs) They beat garbage. Chris. They beat garbage too. They didn't beat nobody. They beat Pittsburgh. They beat some garbage. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. With, yeah, Pittsburgh with, with no quarterback, with an overrated running back in Najee Harris. Pittsburgh was a oh ten, was a ten win team last nah, year. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that, CV. No, they, they beat. Don't. Hold on, hold on. They Go beat ahead. Tampa Bay. Yeah. yeah, playoff team. Yeah, they beat Cincinnati. Yeah, all right. Do, do the Dolphins get credit for beating Dallas? That's one. That was one good win. Okay, I'm just, I'm and just asking. Do they, they get credit for it? Then they had six bad losses when <laughs> they played other good teams. <laughs> do they get credit for it, CV is all they I'm asking, They get credit you, for that one okay, win. That was right. a good win, but all I right. need more of that. All right. Me, That's yo, all I'm me, saying. You and I, we're going to be on this all year long, man. Expect your phone text messages to blow up every time Tua beat a good team hey, this year. Tua, Expect it. Look, Tua and the Dolphins, the break dancers, as I call them, Why they will go out there <laughs> and put up numbers – a light show, a circus. It'll be Xanadu when they play in the the tomato cans in the league. All right. But bring a good team. Bring some bullies. Bring some rough Where you got them this the, year? down there. Where you got them this year? And let's see what they Quick do. Quick prediction. Predict, record and how far they go this year. Put it on, put it on the table between me and you right now. Okay. I got them third in the AFC East. Third? I have a record. Third. I got Jets winning the AFC East. Buffalo second. Miami third, but I got all yeah, three of those Yeah, you was drinking that water in Bali. You was drinking that water in Bali. The Jets are not winning that division. <laughs> all right, the Jets are stacked, baby. The Jets are not winning that. That thing the is going to fall apart. Y'all are falling into the Aaron Rodgers. That, that thing is going to fall all apart Aaron this year. All Aaron Rodgers has to do is be solid. He uh, don't even okay. have to be like okay. MVP Aaron Rodgers. Okay. With that defense... With those skill positions, I, and I like the with defense. the improved offensive line, you didn't like the defense? No, no, no. I like oh, the defense. Do. Yeah, I do like yeah. the defense. I didn't like the, the now, improved game. offensive line. Two tackles over the age of 31 and one having an but injury But they got a concern. little more depth I don't know now, about that. So I think they can handle the injuries. But, wow, uh, you got the Jets winning the division. I didn't hear winning that. Winning the division. Winning the division. Oh, All right, man. Uh, 